And I sold these very quickly for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about things that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. These are items that I picked up cheap and sold for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. I'm also gonna do a little complaining and I don't complain a lot, but this was just a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Please do not be this person. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. So let's talk about the first item here. And uh, shout out to Seems So Vintage who made my hat and I bought this on Whatnot. So check out Seems So Vintage, Whatnot, buy it now for hats like this, super cute. And I bought this one from Flippin' Friends on Whatnot and it's an owl. <laughs> so whatnot is a great place to buy some fun stuff all right here we go if you guys want to if you're not on whatnot my referral links down below you can get 15 dollars to shop and i sell on whatnot if you don't know come hang out here is the first one this is bunnies by the bay bunny rabbit pink plush blossom easter stuffed animal and I got this at the Goodwill bin, so probably a buck or two. And I sold this for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, and stay tuned, I'm going to tell you about the thing you should not do. All right. Uh, Fisher House challenge coin. I just thought this was interesting and actually sold quicker than I thought. I listed this February of 2024. Or, I'm sorry, February 24th of 2024. And it sold in June. So that's pretty quick for something like this. And it looks like that. And I sold this for $30 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And it was just in a bulk lot that I bought. These are Fisher Price roll around balls. They're sensory balls. They're for kids. I always pick these up. They come in squares or circles, different uh, brands, different prices um, on what their value is. So look them up. I got these at the Goodwill for $3, took a best offer of $18 for all of these and the buyer paid shipping. This is a teether and I got this from a uh, estate buyout. There was a bunch of them in there. So I have one left and I sold this for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. Now this is without my sale on. I haven't turned my sale on for the week. And uh, so this was a sale price and then I took the best offer on that. If you want to learn how to create a coupon, type in Bolo Buddies uh, coupon, eBay coupon, and it'll pull up a tutorial to teach you how to do this. Buy one, get one 25% off. You can do lots of different things. This one is vintage uh, self-made crochet thread. So this is just thread. I got this at an estate clean out and um, thought I'd try and list it and it sold. So I had probably less than a dollar in this, sold it for $15.50 in the buyer paid shipping. This is a cabbage patch soft sculpture doll baby doll dress and it's full circle. So I went ahead and put that. If you can find the, the children's full circle dresses, those are a big money bolo. If you type in Bolo Buddies toddler dresses, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, this one was super, super cute and it was for a cabbage patch kid. And I got really great feedback. I paid a dollar for it. I believe it in a state sale and sold it for $19 best offer. This is a Pokemon uh, instructions manual only. So I picked this up uh, for resale, thought it was complete. Wasn't sure if it was complete or not. So I went ahead and did the whole let's part it out thing. And the instruction manual sold for $6.20. And I've also sold another part to this. I think it was the light. This is a Thomas and Friends take and play die cast Spencer talking light up um, train. And these are, you know, hit and miss. Some go for more. If you find the ones that talk and light up, definitely look them up. This one I got at a garage sale for a dollar, sold it for $12.40 in the buyer paid shipping. These are Goody brand. They are vintage stay tight Brett's. And you can see they are signed. If they are signed, make sure you include that in your um, photograph. And I sold these very quickly for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Paw Patrol truck. These are hard to sell. Paw Patrol vehicles individually are harder to sell. 
Um, I got this at the Goodwill bin, so probably had less than a dollar in it. Sold it for $9.92 and the buyer paid shipping. This is 12 skeins of embroidery floss. I have sold 10 of these and I have 15 available. Got these at an estate sale, got a ton of them, and I've been listing them in 12 in lots of 12. And it's going really well. I sold um, a, a lot for $11.16. And again, my sale's not on. So um, I think my sale price was $11.16 and the buyer paid shipping. Vintage TMNT Napoleon Bonifrog Playmates 1990 Snake Serpent Weapon Replacement. Um, I probably used Google Lens to figure this out. If you don't know how to use Google Lens, it is a free tool that helps you identify your items. Definitely put that on your phone. If you're a reseller, it is free. I do have a video on that. Google Lens, uh, Bolo Buddies into the YouTube search should find that for you. I sold this for um, $4.96 in the buyer paid shipping. And this probably came in a toy lot I got. Uh, Avon exclusive winter velvet Barbie. I got this at a garage sale for three bucks and sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. And it did take a while to sell. This is a vintage Christmas Santa Claus sunflower seeds ready to paint. And I have been selling these and these seem to do better in the summer because I think people are buying them to paint and have ready for Christmas. So just keep that in mind. I uh, got it at a thrift store mystery box, a Christmas box. So probably had about a buck in it. Sold it for $14.30 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this little small narwhal. It's just a little guy. I think it goes with a book maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, got it at the bin. So probably about 50 cents. Sold it for $9.30 in the buyer paid shipping. This is a limited edition uh, glitter globe. And I picked this up for $3 at a thrift store. And this is a local place um, in our area. And so it's going to take the right buyer. But I sold this for $25 plus shipping. PJ Masks figure with a hover bot. So it's two pieces here. I got this at the Goodwill bins, I believe. And I didn't write this one down. I don't know what it sold for. wonder why I missed it. I missed it, guys. So it may have sold for $15.50 or maybe I took an offer. I'm not sure. This is a Brother P-Touch. I have no idea. Laminated black on white. No clue what this thing is. I got it at the Goodwill bins for less than a dollar probably. And I sold it for $7.44 plus shipping. At the Goodwill bins, I have a tendency to pick up things that are new old stock and just take a chance because sometimes they are big money bolos. This was a bread and butter. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Okay, guys, read this. Vintage Mega Blocks Cactus Town Western Village set 9204. Instructions only. Can you guys see that in my title? Do you see it in my title? I see it. They open up a return. They paid $15.50 plus shipping. Open up a return and they are mad because they did not get the complete play set. <laughs> instructions only. It says it. Oh my goodness. So anyway, eBay automatically accepts the return. Of course. Um, they opened it as item not as described if I remember correctly. And they said that they were very disappointed. And I'm like, I don't know why you were disappointed because it says instructions only. You guys read the titles, look at the pictures in the pictures. I just have the manual. That's it. That's it. Now, I did part this out. I bought this at a garage sale and it was not complete. And it ended up being a uh, big money bolo, the actual mega block set. So I'm sure they did want the set for $15 and 50 cents, but no. So I do have this back and relisted in my eBay store. This is when I feel like eBay really needs to maybe pay attention and be like, all right, it says instructions only. Why are we going to give them or allow them to return this? Um, and they were blaming me like I did something wrong. So that's the part that, you know, I just don't understand it. Now, I refunded their money once I got the item back, but um, I had to pay for the label to get it returned back to me because they opened it up as an item not as described which is really unfair to the seller. So I did report it. I did dispute it. 
Um, I have not heard anything back from eBay. Sometimes they will return your um, return shipping costs, but I haven't got any notification yet. So always report if somebody opens a return for a reason that is not accurate. This item was obviously as described and they said that it was not. And if you report that, if they abuse the returns program, then eBay can watch their account. All right. So there's a little report button down by the sale and don't abuse that report button. Only use it if they are abusing returns. And that's what they were doing in this situation. So just a little tidbit of information. If you are not reporting buyers, I, I, I don't like reporting anyone, but when they're abusing the system and it's just a bad buyer and they're being unfair to the seller, we have to protect ourselves and protect other sellers. So again, that is there and eBay, you know, they have it there so they can protect their sellers. So use it, use it, don't abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, here is what the return said. Doesn't match description or photos. Well, it I showed you the photos. It says instructions only in the title. It said, I wanted the playset, not the crappy instructions only. Okay. I All right. <laughs> so there it is. And I see, um, I, I bet this is my uh, packaging. I had it sealed in a Ziploc and then I put it in a poly mailer. So um, apparently they thought they were getting the play set. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, ridiculous. I, I try not to get too caught up in things like this because returns happen. But I also want to raise awareness that it's not fair as a buyer to penalize a seller for your mistake. Okay. So just be honest about it. Uh, I changed my mind and open a return for that. That way you're, you're paying the return fees. All right. Not the not the seller. That's not fair to the seller. A lot of businesses that you're buying from, that we're not Walmart, okay? We are not a big business store. We are we are assuming those costs to take that return, all right? We're paying that shipping because you didn't read the title and you didn't read, um, look at the photos. And I don't mean like you, like you. <laughs> I just mean the buyers that do this. Ah! it's crazy. It's crazy. And thankfully it doesn't happen that much. There's lots and lots of good buyers and I'm so thankful for all of them. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, add a little drama to this video. You guys, you know, I don't like drama. So, uh, but I did want to mention it and let you guys know that there are actions you can take to try to prevent this from happening in the future. Thank you so much for being here. These are my bread and butter bolos. I've got lots of videos like this. I also have big money bolos, items that I sold for big dollars, if you want to check that out. And I appreciate you all. Check out the description for affiliates and referrals, things that I use for my business, um, tutorial videos down there. And I mentioned earlier, come over to Whatnot and hang out with me. I do auction style shows where I dump a bunch of jewelry, grab and sell. Everything starts between two and five dollars and you can get some deals. I got this from Flipping Friends on Whatnot. And again, Seems So Vintage has the hat. So check her out and I'll link, um, not link, but I will put their names down there in the description of the video so you can go and follow them on Whatnot as well. So I hope to see you guys soon and thanks for watching.